Uh, good afternoon, so I'm here with my 0.22 Oregon and I'm going to take the stock off. Uh, the manual here shows it as having uh, a bolt at the bottom that goes through the grip and two screws either side. I recommend taking the two screws out first so you don't put any strain on them. Uh, what you'll need is a 2.5mm Allen key for the two side ones and a 5mm for the one that goes through the handle. So. If you have a feel of them first and see how tight they are when you take them out because I don't think they'll be too tight because you don't want to damage the stock so just using two fingers and they just break so these are basically just finger tight so when you put them back on make sure you just do them up the same don't over tighten them because they're obviously you don't want to damage the actual uh, the, the block that they go into so what you've got is a, a washer that's got a basically a step on the inside okay so that's how they go in so that's one that side, and that's the same the other side. But there's just finger tight, two fingers, just lift them off. There you go, that's the second one out. And then use a five millimeter goes for the top of the grip like this. Okay, you can just see that. You don't want to just take that up a touch so you can have a look at that. There you go, and then basically that's only finger tight as well. So when you do these screws and the bolt up, don't over tighten them, there's no need. Uh, and then the bolt has a little shoulder in there, it's got a, a washer, a thick shoulder in there. Okay, and then it should just lift off, like so. And there you have it. So we'll just tip that over, take the bolt up. So you've got a long bolt and your washer there, okay? And that goes into this screw here, which is just behind the actual trigger guard. Okay, uh, this is like a molded stock, it's got a lovely feel to it. It's a, a mixture between soft touch and um, a molded plastic, so it's, it's very nice. Uh, I just hope that um, AGT do produce the, the laminate stock they had at the, at the showroom, the, the, um, the shooting shows, um, you know, in their company colors because that was really nice. and. Yeah, I, I just go shoot this on the range, so I, I love to have a nice laminate stock to swap. And to be quite, it's not a massive stock, is it? So it shouldn't cost too much to produce. So that's your stock off, uh, and then basically uh, that's it off. Um, and I shall do a video on all the actual working parts. But this rod here appears just the trigger, and that that you can adjust your your first stage there. And there's obviously a second stage adjustment somewhere okay but we'll go into that afterwards that's just taking the stock off put it back on in exact reverse yeah put the stock bolt in the grip stock in bolt in first and then the two side screws in last because you don't want to put any strain because those screws go into the actual block here okay which is obviously you don't want to damage the thread there so make sure you put that the big one in first and then the two in the side okay very straightforward and uh, we're gonna have some more video on the end of that Ah, good afternoon. So I've got the stock off my Hurricane, and uh, this is the, the linkage behind the trigger. So from what I can make out, it looks like this spring here, uh, just the actual tension on the trigger. Okay, so it looks like you can adjust that by unscrewing that Allen to move this block backwards and forwards. It looks like this adjustment here adjusts the actual length of the first stage pull, and then you can see the actual see what he's moving there okay so there's a stop just inside there and it also has, a, has a, an allen key screw there so it looks like that adjusts your second stage if you need to adjust it now looking at all this and um, it looks uh, pretty dry all the uh, the linkages so i might just give it a, a grease with some molybdenum uh, in all the working part faces um, and I think that should do because I think the actual operation of the actual trigger and I think is pretty good if I cut the trigger which is actually the levers on the other side so I'll just try and get this to focus that's it so if I just cut the action and you'll see if I just get it to focus on that you'll see as you, as you pull the actual lever back it starts to turn and you'll see it engage see there you see so that's engaged okay so you'll see the first stage is that much there see 
which to me is fine. You see it there, that's the first stage moving there. And if you see the sear, you can see just inside there, I think we get to focus again. Uh, you can just see the actual screw there that actually adjusts the actual second stage release. So if you wanted to actually adjust it, you'd probably screw it in a bit. You have to be careful because that's the release there. And as I pull it into the second stage there, you'll see it release. There, see? Okay. So, to be quite honest, I think because there doesn't appear to be a lot of lubrication in there at all, you know, and it does recommend you lubricate once a year, I'm just going to actually lubricate all the moving faces there, the, the operating faces, with some molybdenum, just a dab of molybdenum disulfide, which is a, a, lubricant, a good lubricant anyhow, and that will probably make it perfectly acceptable. Uh, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to adjust the trigger anyway because I think it's pretty much pretty much bang on really. Um, I'm happy with the first and second stage, but as I said I think it just it could probably be a little bit smoother with a little bit of lubrication. Okay, so that's basically uh, how it all works. If you want if you want to adjust it, like I said, there's an Allen key in there uh, that, that you can screw in, which will take a little bit of the sear movement off, and it'll, it'll fire a bit shorter. I'm not sure whether that actually locks it, so you have to undo that to unscrew it in and out. But personally, I'm going to leave it as it is. So that's uh, that's the Urigan inside the Urigan. So I'll add this to the end of the, uh, the stock removal video. Uh, thanks for watching.